Well, hello everyone, Texie88 here and welcome to another review. Now I'm taking a look at Kickstart for the Commodore 64. Now I've actually reviewed uh, the Spectrum and Amstrad CPC versions of Kickstart 2. Uh, for, for some reason, um, as far as I can make out, those two machines never got this first Kickstart. That seems to be uh, pretty much unique to the Commodore 64, at least out of the three main bits main 8-bit home computers of its time. So let's get let this let's get this going. Yeah the nice uh, rendition of the can can theme. Oh nice sound in this. Oh this oh yeah you have to go slow over fences otherwise you just go arse over tin like that. Why did I fall through the bricks? And as with the other uh, Kickstart 2 versions I've reviewed, it, it has to wait until it's found a suitable place to put you before it all. Well, I landed on that. Right, so that's that course done. One thing I have noticed about this version is that there's no CPU controlled opponent if you're playing by yourself. Well, I landed on that. Why am I falling through things? As the other versions, while it's uh, waiting for its convenient time to reset you, it's causing the clock to absolutely hair it along. I've got to go slow over these fences. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Goodness me! But one thing is good is that there's actually sound in this. Why didn't I land on the bus? I landed on that! Uh, it's just a shame there's no CPU opponent in this. For these reasons, but at least there's sound in this version. It's not deathly silent like Kickstarter 2 was on the... Oh. Why did I fall through that? I clearly landed on it. So that's kickstart for the Commodore 64. So graphics are really nice, although I would have preferred if there was more colour on the actual rider, but maybe I'm just being too, uh, too pedantic. I don't understand why the, why there's so much colour on everything else, yet the bike is totally in white. It seems a bit of an odd mix to me. Uh, sound, well, I can actually say something about sound in this version, because there actually is some sound to speak of, whereas the Kickstart 2 on the Spectrum and Amstrad CPC was deathly silent. Well, you've got that, that pretty, uh, fun, uh, pretty cool rendition of the Can Can theme tune at the beginning there. Uh, during the um, um, the the main um, main screen, and you got got a pretty tight tidy eight bit sound effect for the motorcycle engines, and it's generally really quite playable. Although I still find that you know, I'm falling through things in a rather odd manner at times. 
Is this really the only course in this? Because... Do you like that sound effect when you go fall off the bike? Then? A gameplay, well, it, it plays really quite well. And see, I, I don't understand why I fell through that. I clearly landed on that little bus. What? Why did I fall through that? So it plays a really, you know, reasonably, reasonably well. However, I'm a bit worried about the fact that, you, uh, that so even when you clearly land on things like that card, you just then you fall right through them. And the uh, and the other issue I have with this is that there's only this one course by the looks of things, which. It's going to impact on its longevity. It could have done with more courses to uh, to to break the monotony a little, and I couldn't see any menu options allowing you to set it. So that just suggests me that this is the uh, this is the only course within the entire game. So. That having been said, all, all that having been said, I think I'm going to give this this version six out of ten. I mean, yes, it it, it plays um, it, it plays well. It's nice to have actual sound, but the fact there's only one course and it still has problems of uh, of the bike falling through solid objects um, for no apparent reason is it, it does impact on its longevity even for a budget title. So. Hope you enjoyed this review. Catch you on another one soon. Texie88, out.